Going to the Rosemary Clooney Museum in Augusta, Kentucky, it feels a little bit like going back in time. Here is the view from her home, uh, right on the Ohio River, and the ferry boat goes back and forth all the time, and it's, it's just very quaint and beautiful. She was born in Maysville, Kentucky, but she bought this home in Augusta in 1980, and she went back and forth between this house and her uh, Beverly Hills house on Roxbury Drive until she died in 2002. The house was a real retreat for her, and this spot right here, I'm told, was where she loved to sit and just look out at the beautiful Ohio River. Incredibly, they have the costume from her first movie, The Stars Are Singing, um, as well as two of the costumes that Anna Maria Alberghetti wore in the film. It's kind of surreal to remember that this was a house that she actually lived in, and now it's a museum. Uh, but they've done a beautiful job of um, putting it together and honoring her. I love this costume from the film Red Garters. Um, it's made of kind of a strange leatherette material. It must have been very difficult to perform in, um, but it's beautiful and in incredible condition. And here's another beauty from Red Garters. Rosemary wore this beautiful period gown in Here Come the Girls uh, with Bob Hope, and there is one of his costumes also in the background there. And then they also um, had the black dress that Arlene Dahl wore, which is kind of reminiscent of the one that Rosemary Clooney wore in White Christmas. And then another very elaborate um, uh, Bob Hope costume that's really incredible. Of particular interest to me were the photos of the home that um, Rosemary Clooney owned on Roxbury Drive that she purchased with her husband, Jose Ferrer, in 1953. Uh, they lived there for, well, she lived there for over 50 years and died there in 2002. If you've watched any of my other YouTube videos, you know I get a little sick to my stomach when I think of these homes being destroyed, not just because they were celebrity homes, but because they're beautiful homes with um, history. Up the stairs uh, was Rosemary Clooney's bedroom. And according to the guide, it is largely the way it was when she lived there. I mean, it wasn't as packed with memorabilia, but um, the bed and her TV and things like that are all basically uh, where they were when she uh, used to live there. And I guess she was on good terms with her former husband, Jose Ferrer, because she still had his shoes. <laughs> Actually, they were probably with their kids, but it was kind of funny that his shoes were there. The hallway featured this outfit of hers that she wore in concert, and also the scrubs on the left worn by George Clooney in ER, and a couple of his other costumes um, from Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? and The Monuments Men. He has contributed these costumes, but he limits what he contributes because he says this is Rosemary's museum, not his. And I just love that about him. He can do no wrong in my eyes. <laughs> As you may know, there's a whole section of white Christmas memorabilia at the Rosemary Clooney house. And I have prepared a video for that on my YouTube channel. It's episode 35, so I hope you'll watch that. That includes all the wonderful memorabilia of Rosemary's, as well as her piano here, and her costumes and gloves, etc. It's fantastic. If you're ever in Augusta, the Rosemary Clooney House is a must-see, and not only because it's such a wonderful homage to Rosemary Clooney, but because the area is absolutely gorgeous, and you'll enjoy that as well. Thanks so much for watching.